And welcome aboard, folks, live from Studio E here in Midtown Manhattan, where it is raining, but... April showers bring May pneumonia. It's freezing <laughs> outside. Right. Forty like winter came right back. Now. I know it. I, I heard tulips have decided not this year. Oh, uh, they just are not into going out of the earth. It's, it's terrible. Just too, it's too cold up here. Well, today our flower is oh. Anna Coyman. She's joining us today for Good morning. Uh, for right. Elizabeth, who's taking the day off. Okay, that's allowed. Yeah. And absolutely. we have a live camera with Elizabeth, so we're going to be dipping into her life uh, throughout the day. We have uh, a lot to talk hey, about. let's talk a little Benghazi because it turns out judicial. National Security Council has given this statement, and they basically are saying that this Rhodes email referred to protests going on around the region in Cairo and Benghazi, and they were just talking more about the flavor of the region. But that statement did not address what Fox News has asked, which is where did you get this information about the, the protests being sparked by the video, the attacks on, on Benghazi? Because that Innocent Americans, where did you get this information right. from? Well, Senator Kelly Ayotte was on uh, with Greta last night. She has the same question because it's not getting answered. Yes, so blame, it, blame it on the video, not on the president's strategies. And it, it reads more like a PR strategy than it does trying to get sure. the, the proper right. intelligence to the American people. Because remember, it was seven weeks before the election. And at that point, the talking point... Asked about whether this call actually happened. We haven't had an answer for that either. The yeah. subject line of the email said 4 p.m. prep call with, with Susan Rice. Uh, and it didn't just go out to one or two people. It went out to about a dozen uh, of the president's closest confidants, including White House spokesperson Jay Carter. Sure. So and what the, Lindsey Graham does say that this is the smoking gun. Charles Krauthammer last night said it's the smoking document. We're going to be talking about it more throughout the morning. Yeah, he also, Charles, went on to say, I just don't think, I don't, he does not believe America is going to pay enough attention. But meanwhile, the main Because of the mainstream media. Right. Well, the, uh, well the, main story, the main story yesterday has to be what was happening with Donald Sterling. It was up to the NBA commissioner to step up and make a ban, and he did. He banned him for life. He's going to push to have him, uh, force him to sell the team. So then out comes a lot of opinions. And almost universally, people were praising the National Basketball Association for taking the proper steps necessary. But not everyone was pushing that. One congressman, Tom said, you know what, we got to give the players more power and the owners more power to oust this guy and uh, to have more control over what happens in this league because you do need a two-thirds vote to get rid of uh, a guy like Donald Sterling in this case. Meanwhile, you have to wonder if Congressman Thompson is asking for a double standard when it comes to freedom of speech and saying things that are flat out, in my mind, offensive. Yeah, he was on Nation of Islam. Also says he worked under three presidents, uh, Clinton and Bush, and they were never treated like this. Really? George Bush's intellect was slapped around every day. The, uh, the majority leader called him a loser. Uh, and I can't believe the, the Bill Clinton in particular was impeached. And you, you saw the way Bill Clinton was treated in many respects. Forget about the way they're looked at now. I don't think any of them had an easy time. Yeah, Congressman Thompson goes on to say that this anti-government attitude is completely new just because we have an African-American president. That's the only reason why. We did reach out to his office and haven't heard back for a comment. Yep. All right. Uh, meanwhile, we've got lots more news to tell you about. And once again, we turn to Heather Nauert. Hi. Good morning, gang. Good morning. How are you doing? Hope you're off to a great day already. All right, got some news now to bring you at uh, nine minutes after the hour. We break in with some breaking uh, news that came in overnight. Prison official. I love those. And yeah. maybe Brian would actually like a movie. No, I uh, <laughs> saw one of them, didn't get through it, never saw the rest. Of the I'm I'm right. I'm right. I'm I'm probably it. fighting words with a lot of our viewers. I'm the same way, though. <laughs> but, but, but you didn't like Gravity either, right? What? You didn't like Gravity either, right? The two food, two food people of the cast. He loved Fred Claus. Uh, Pretty much the, need. the top uh, of the heap. And I also and love, Caddyshack. I also love Here Comes the Boom. <laughs> Okay. So, those are two award-winning movies. Direct-to-video. Well, if those award shows weren't so corrupt. Venue. All right, uh, coming up straight ahead. Uh, for American kids, colleges. So what am I supposed to do? You're going to put a, a foot on each thigh. Right. One on Elizabeth's and one on mine. Right. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Look there at we that. go. See? Look at that. And then we go like, go, go, Keith. Cougars. Go. Cougars. Now You're Cougars. <laughs> <laughs> now flip back. That's flip okay. <laughs> Why didn't you do a backflip out of that? Come on. Uh, uh, no, I, was close. <laughs> I was so close to just falling on that uh, fake glass coffee table over there. That's, Brian, that's what happens when you leave the room for a couple of minutes. It's unbelievable. That's the after the show. So you can get that online, the whole thing? Yeah. I know. You, you, can't you know, we were talking about whether or not cheerleading was a sport. And as it turns out, it is. Heather Nauert uh, was a cheerleader back in the day. She was uh, a cheerleader in, it was middle school, right, Heather? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. She was and your team was the Cougars? She yeah. was a Cougar. Me too. Carmel Middle School, Carmel Cougars. You're oh, both hey. Cougars. But I was not a... Uh, I was... <laughs> Thank you. I just turned 30 and I'm already a cougar. In your heart. Go uh, on. Just, be a cougar. just keep on digging. Steve. I was a tiger. Growing up, I was a Clay Center tiger. So. I was a chief. A what? I really can't help the conversation. I'm just trying to share. <laughs> Like school is a chief. I was just trying to participate. I brought the whole conversation to a whole. And you were not a male cheerleader either. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, but I've never been less accepted in a group before in my life, <laughs> except when the crew invited me out one time. Never happened oh. again. Yeah, that was it. All right, we do have a. We have to take a tough turn here. Extreme. So, uh, down along the panhandle, I was just reading. She said higher amounts. Some spots are going to wind up with 25 inches of rain. Oh, they're going to be pumping for a long time. I think you're probably right. All right, 24 minutes before the top of the hour, and there she is right over there. Hi. The retired Cougar <laughs> cheerleader. Long ago retired, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That was a lot of fun yesterday. That was fun. All right, so from flooding. But you don't hydrate with Tom's alcohol. Tom's Could you right? do that? No, absolutely not. But I will say during the Boston Marathon, there were people giving away all kinds of things, but one stand was beer, donuts, and cigarettes, which I thought was crazy. Uh, there was another uh, guy who was that. in his probably his 60s, and we're on like mile 20, and he stops and chugs a beer with his his buddies. Oh, wow. That I is... couldn't believe it. Well, I different haven't seen that in any of the runners. faster than me. I've not seen any of that in any of the Runner's World magazines no. as preferable behavior. 20 minutes before the top of the hour, meet the latest victim of air traffic controllers on this one, where a truck slams right into the belly of a plane on the tarmac. You'll see it. We're going to see it in a little while. Yeah, you watch. Not yet. Do not I'm in love. Don't. <laughs> I'm all sure. We just can't tell the whole story. These are news briefs, Anna. You know, yeah. we can't go through the whole thing. Yeah. The other thing is, we already know Somebody the strategy that, uh, that George Clooney fell into, which is play, play hard, hard to get. To get. Yeah. Sure. So do not return his calls. I think okay. it's odd that ha ha Sorry, Harry's man. girlfriend mm -hmm. uh, was too needy. Apparently, she wanted to be treated like a princess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so What's wrong with that? Wait, <laughs> are you a step princess yeah. if you marry? the second in command of the royal army? Well, I think he's still a princess. Really? Prin <laughs> I think no, he princess. just totally botched him. <laughs> uh, I gotta watch Shrek again. All right, that's the very latest on Harry. Uh, coming up, more on Kerry. We're talking about Secretary of State John Kerry making a major gaffe suggesting our biggest ally could turn into an apartheid state. So should the Secretary of State quit? The guy who voted against him, one of them, for the position in the first place, Senator... Monitors are supposed to give parents an extra layer of security, but one Ohio couple. So this is not the first time we've seen something like this, and it can not just go through baby monitors, but also uh, webcams on our laptop computers. Absolutely. And how easy is this? It's very simple here, when you can actually see here that it's identified this open... You know not very many people can get their hands on. Exactly, and once we get that device up and running. In their home, not just for their infants. Right, very scary here. What can we do to protect it's ourselves? It's important to understand you want, but you gotta remember, unless you do it the right way, the rest of the world has it also. Yeah, keeping it locked uh, isn't just for your neighbors mooching off you, they could be watching you. No, absolutely, and there's a lot of, they've gotta lock it down and do the right thing. If you don't, can't, don't know how to do it, get help. All right, well, thanks for the info. Minutes after the hour and coming up on Fox & Friends, this fiance is pretty angry. Is the first ever selfie he's ever done, and so we wanted you to help Kenny go right up the trends map to the number one trending hashtag in America. And nice. right now, take a look. Uh, Ted, zoom in on the trend. We've been in better shape. We're going to find out for sure. But Dr. Mark Siegel and he joined some military members as they bike and do some mountain biking with wounded warriors. George Bush, uh, President Bush, and Dr. Siegel live on our show. Yeah, they've done that a few years now, haven't they? Yes, yes. they have. Yeah, Meanwhile, Heather, were you watching earlier when uh, Brian Kilmeade was doing some tango? Trying to give a high school a lesson in basketball. Yeah. That's all. He wants to be a professional athlete someday in the uh, professional basketball league. Take a look. Here. On, uh, was it Shaq? Oh, it was yeah. Shaq. He wasn't quite as tall, Shaq. Here's... We need Titus now, of course. Where's Titus? All right. Uh, Long yeah. Ranger? Oh, we have to end the <laughs> show like that. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today on Fox & Friends. The news continues right here on the channel with Bill and Martha. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same channel. We have a okay. second left. Now